the first new album from Blink-182 in five years. You guys excited for that? You guys ready for that? Tonight we had an exclusive performance from the band, plus we will talk to them about the making of that album. It just doesn't get more up close and personal than this. Right now, we're ready to go live from the iHeartRadio Theater in New York City. Make some noise for Blink-182. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Mark, it's a big week. California, first new record in five years, mm -hmm. is out. It's a record that's a long time coming, but a short time making. How'd you guys turn this around so quickly? Uh, we got into the studio with our friend John Feldman after having been writing songs for about three months. And then we got in the studio with him and started writing from scratch and wrote 30 songs in about six weeks. What was good and what was bad about writing songs at that speed? That is so fast. Uh, it was all good, and it was great for me personally because it didn't allow me to overthink lyrics or song ideas or anything like that. And it was like uh, intensive, intense work every single day, and everybody was in it, everybody was throwing ideas around, excited to work on things, excited about new songs. It's great. Matt, uh, a question for you. Throughout this entire recording process, John would ask you guys, what is this band about? And you being the newest member of the band, I was curious your answer to that question. What is this band about? Uh, I think this band is about fun, 
primarily. I think uh, it's also, you know, there's, there's funny stuff, but there's also a lot of heart. I think heart, in, in a word, Fleet 182 has heart. Absolutely. Like, it's like, it's like I heart radio. <laughs> Picking up what I'm putting down. Water compass, ladies. Come on, give it to me, Travis. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. The name of this album, Mark, is California. You guys are clearly from California. It can't be that simple. There has to be more to it. What more is there to the album title? I think that the idea of California is always bright, sunshiny days and palm trees and uh, beaches and things like that, but there's also a dark underside of California, like the subcultures of punk rock and skateboarding and urban decay and all that kind of stuff, and I think that's kind of what Blink-182 feels like to me, like bright, sunshiny, but dark and angsty. I was going to ask you about that because there's absolutely... I'm angsty, people. <laughs> There's a layer of fun here with this band, clearly, always, but there is also that layer of uh, a, a little bit of darkness and a little bit of edge. Was it important for you to put that in the songs for this album? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, while we were writing this album, Matt and I were, had this kind of quasi-book club where we were reading these really dark, twisted Cormac McCarthy novels and uh, The Revenant, and... Uh, and at one point we were making a joke that we should call the album Death Blood because all the songs were like referencing death and blood and drowning and things like that. And then, uh, and then we lightened it up. I love the idea of you guys sitting around with a couple glasses of wine just discussing uh, a few books here and there, like fire going on in the background, that sort of thing. Is that what it was like? We should start a real book club. That should be a real thing where we uh, read these weird books and then we can talk about it with people. Sure. Yeah. Let's do that after a song. Okay, cool. It's Blink-182 live at the iHeartRadio Theater, New York City. Yeah. <laughs> 
iHeartRadio live featuring Blink-182, presented by Capital One and Uber. The new album, California, is out this Friday, and it's super exciting for all of us. I'm sure it's very exciting for these guys as well. Can we hear one more time from Matt Skiba, everybody? <laughs> Matt, we mentioned earlier that you're the newest member of the band. At some point within the last year or so, you got the call by these guys to join up. What was that like for you? It was amazing. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I didn't know what uh, Travis and Mark asked me to have lunch. I didn't know what about, and here we are. It seems like this transition could have been difficult, and it hasn't been. It has been seamless, it has been natural, it has been as easy as it can be. Has that been the experience for you? Yes, sir, yeah, these guys have been amazing, and. Um, we've been friends for 15 years, so, um, you know, there's still like a bit of adjusting, but it was never like, uh, scary or painful or any of that. It was, they made it really easy for me and just clicked into place. Between you and me, forget that they're here and yeah. they're here. Like, I know Travis is cool. <laughs> How's he? Is he okay? Is Hoppus okay? He's cool. He's not a narc. He's not? Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Although good. I did smell weed at the show the well, other you day. Actually I, are I, 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 called the, I called the cops. <laughs> Mark, you guys are about to go play arenas for the rest of the summer and early fall. It's been a bit since Blink's done a tour like this. What are you most looking forward to playing these shows? Playing the new songs. Very excited about that. Uh, bringing the new music out to everybody. Playing the, the, the singles. Playing the old songs. I, all of it's fun. I love it. I can't wait to tour. We're getting a little preview of what that show's gonna be like tonight. It's going to be bigger, in a place that much bigger. Can you give us a, a hint of what any of the surprises are going to be? Anything that you guys have planned? Uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, pyrotechnics and video and smoke and uh, awesome songs and handsome dudes. <laughs> any ideas got scrapped? Anything that you guys talked about that you wanted to do now going into these shows? You're like, ah, oh, we weren't able to do that or we weren't able to pull that off. No, not at all. No? All the stuff that we are, are excited about doing, we are excited to bring to everybody. Awesome, awesome. And we have great, great crew. Give it up for our crew who's here and who's going to make it happen this evening. Tickets are on sale for that Blink tour now. A lot of the shows are sold out, so get them quickly. And the new Blink album, again, is out this Friday. It's called California. This is Blink-182, iHeartRadio Live. Let's do another song.
Here's a new one. Thank you. 
featuring Blink-182, presented by Capital One and Uber. My name is Harms. The new Blink-182 album, again, California, is out on Friday, which is, again, it's such, such a big deal for us. Born to Death is the name of that song. Mark, that was the introduction of this new album. That was the introduction of this band's music with Matt. Why that song? Uh, I think that that song encapsulates everything that we all love about Blink-182. It starts off with Travis's cool drumming and this arpeggiated guitar riff. It has these big anthemic choruses. It's, uh, it's angsty. It's, uh, it makes you want to go out and kick the world's ass with your friends on the weekend. I'd like to dedicate that one to John Feldman, by the way, who's here tonight. Is John it's his, Feldman here? Yeah, it's his birthday today, so we want to Happy send birthday, that out to John him. Feldman! For a day, um, I wanted to ask you about the entire sound of the record uh, in relationship to, to Board to Death. It seems like this entire project is it capturing what everyone fell in love with with Blink-182 over the years. This band has now spanned generations. You're going to go to these Blink shows and you're going to see a 16-year-old girl screaming her head off and you're going to see a 45-year-old dude screaming his head off. And not a lot of bands can do that and it feels like this record is capturing or recapturing kind of what that sound everybody fell in love with. Is that true? I believe that's entirely true. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Made me fall in love with Blink-182 all over again. Um, no, I think that this album it really pulls from what Blink started at, uh, where we began and where we want to go. I think it's the, I think it's like Blink-182 in 2016. Everything that anybody loved about Blink from, from over the years will be on this record. Travis, do you have a mic? I want to ask you a question real quick. What's up? You had said something in an interview a couple hey, of months ago. Hey, Travis is talking. Be quiet, people. <laughs> You had said that Blink, in a lot of ways, represents eternal youth. And I was wondering if you could explain more what you meant by that. Um, I feel like the music just, you know, it's fast, it's melodic. It, you know, like Mark said, it wants you to, you know, it makes you feel like you want to kick someone's ass or kicks the world's ass. And, um, and we've never really steered away from what we've always been about, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you have a favorite part about the album right now? I like it all. There's honestly, like, the hardest part of making the album was figuring out what 16 songs made the album. We sure. were, that was honestly the hardest part. We were like, you know, we all had favorites, but the 14 or 16 that made it, um, I don't, there's no fillers, you know? It's all, it's all good, and I'm not, like, boasting or being stuck up or yeah. conceited. It's really a great album that I'm proud of. Nothing wrong with be proud of your work. Is there any chance that we're going to hear these songs, the songs that were written before the album, Mark, or the songs that didn't quite make the album? You said that there's a lot left over that don't appear on the record. Uh, we've talked, the only way that we could make peace with letting songs not be on the album was telling ourselves that they were going to be on an EP, so we're hoping to do that uh, at some point in the future. And if not, then those songs will definitely become the top. new album today, right now. Uh, that it's coming out on Friday. Yeah. Very exciting. You ready for these songs to be out there? I am, yeah. I think they might be out there, but... Um, yeah, the, the physical thing coming out and the actual birthday of the record is Friday, so that's very exciting. Very cool. Mark, same question. Favorite part about the album today? Favorite part about the album is that it's been five years since we've had new music out, and I can't wait for people to hear the next chapter of Blink-182. We're all very excited and proud of it, and I can't wait for people to... Uh, I can't wait for this to become the, uh, the record of people's summers. That's what I hope, anyway. We are excited as well. Absolutely. Congratulations to all three of you. Thank you. I've had a chance to hear the album. It is incredible. I think everybody on Friday is also going to agree that it's incredible. And we can't wait for the shows that happen this summer and this fall. So, fellas, thank you for being here. Thanks very much. Thank Absolutely. You. We are not done yet, though. we still got a couple of more songs. It is Blink-182 at the iHeartRadio Theater in New York City. We are live. Fellas, go for it. Not a chance, my friend. <laughs>
Thank you. Too dark, Mark. Can we go now? Okay, now we can play more. All right. Oh, Travis. Travis begins this next song. We'd like to play another song now.
Take the bullet 
Thanks, Father, put down the train. One hour's a waste of time. I ask you to feel the same. Still push the chance to try. Your breath in this cool room chill. Long hair that blows side to side. You speak and make time stand still. And each time I walk right on by. perfection.
so everybody gets their money's worth, so. Great. Job, I meant to play this. I played this. Travis?
Thanks very much. Justice. 
Don't underrate my power of mind. I would have fight and stand by my side. I would have fight and stand by my side. Sad today I've been alone, walking around in the silent sound, till the end of the blurry way. I felt some things blowing my ears. Lonely night, my heart was beating. I'm calling, calling in whisper.